We've all had that late night motivation to make money. And chances are, if you have ever searched up business videos on YouTube, a word that always comes up is dropshipping. Which is why I've decided to give dropshipping a try as a beginner with no experience. With that said, the first thing I did is create an account on Shopify, which is a platform most used for dropshipping. Once logged in, I was shown a number of steps that I needed to complete to launch my online store. And I was also given a three day free trial, as well as the first month for one pound, which I had to spend in order to launch the website. With the Shopify account created, I started off by finding a product that I wanted to sell. And after browsing AliExpress, I stumbled upon a product which I thought would do well. It had good reviews and tackled the fashion and accessories niche, which should be a market with large number of potential customers. And with that, the product that I had finalized was the capsule umbrella. And after running a quick Google image search, I stumbled upon a website powered by Shopify selling the product, which suggested to me that there is demand for the umbrella. With the product finalized, I began work on setting up the store website. Having prior coding experience, thanks to all the game development challenges I had done on this channel, I felt somewhat prepared. However, the process ended up being much simpler than I could have imagined, to the point where I didn't even need any help and was able to fully set up the website in one day, as all I had to do was edit a preset theme and mess around with the layout and text boxes. And after some intense speedrunning, the store website was complete and the payments were set up. And the final thing I had left to do was to create a domain for my website which would help it stand out in the search. However, this was not free, costing $18 a year. And as I had set out to spend as little money as possible, I chose to use the standard domain that was given to me already, that was free. Now, with the website made public, I was onto the final step, which was driving traffic to the site and making sales. And unfortunately for me, this ended up being much harder than I had expected. So I spent some time binge watching some dropshipping videos. And the people behind them are stupid. Yeah, that's the life. And a common phrase used in the videos were organic marketing, which from my understanding is driving clicks through the use of ads and videos. So I set up a TikTok business account, which will allow me to link my website in the bio. And with that set up, all I had left to do was to make a couple TikToks to generate traffic to my website. However, the problem that I ran into was the fact that I didn't have the product to showcase, which made it much harder to think of any video ideas. But after some time brainstorming, the video idea I had was to showcase a £10 discount, which was pretty much 50% off what I had priced the product and I was hoping this would entice people to buy the product. So I made this 12 second video which covered all the basics. It was super short to ensure the video was watched fully and not skipped. It had yellow text with the AI voice and had some Minecraft gameplay on the bottom. And an hour after posting the video, it was stuck on roughly 200 views. So I posted the same TikTok again and looked into promoting the video. This is when I stumbled over something diabolical, being the Apple service fees, which was pretty much the same price as how much I was paying for the ad. And after some messing around with the prices, seeing how many button clicks I can get, I ended up spending three pounds, which was the minimum amount I can spend. And this would earn me an estimated 10 to 115 button clicks. This took my money spent so far to six pounds and eight pence, taking the Apple fees of two pounds and eight pence into account. And after laying the ad run for a day, the TikTok had gotten 2000 views and 17 people had clicked the link to the website. However, these 17 people did not end up buying a product, which meant I was still stuck at zero sales. So I decided to make more TikToks, this time further showcasing the product using pre-existing videos I found online, which ended up doing something I didn't expect. It got the account banned, probably because I used the song Water in the background without having the proper rights. And with that L taken, I decided to lock in for another attempt at marketing the website, this time switching platforms to Facebook, where I ran this ad over the course of four days, spending a total of four pounds. And unlike TikTok, there was no Apple service fees this time. And the Facebook ads ended up being much more effective, gaining a total of 56 users to press the link to the website. And what got me even more excited originally was the fact that I was getting several messages regarding the product, which got me excited thinking there were potential customers. However, it very quickly became apparent that this was not the case. And all the messages and engagement I received ended up being people trying to sell me dropshipping courses or claiming to provide help to improve my online store. And so after roughly a week of starting my dropshipping endeavor, without any prior experience, my first attempt managed to get me 193 online store sessions, two items being added to the cart, and a total of zero sales, putting me at a loss of 10 pounds and eight pence overall, which ultimately means I failed in what I initially aimed to do. But I've learned a lot through this process, and I believe if I spend more time researching niches, finding the right product, and marketing it better, I should succeed in getting sales. And with that said,